Hi everyone, hope you and your families are keeping well and safe. It has been a while since we've been in school and we miss you. I hope things get back to normal soon. Each year for the past two years we've been running STEM week in June. In this week your teachers across all the different subjects taught STEM themed lessons. You had a taste of how STEM which is science, technology, engineering and mathematics is everywhere. STEM teaches us skills that are transferable across all areas of our lives. From rocket science to cooking, baking, art and design, we use skills such as innovation, problem solving and team building, all of which STEM learning helps us master. You must have seen how the government relies heavily on data and so do the scientists in their fight against the coronavirus. You must have also seen on the news charts and graphs being used daily. Just recently SpaceX launched a rocket in space to test future trips for common people to go to space. Mind you it would be those who can actually afford them. I'm sure you remember last year and the year before we watched films in the hall, uh, Hidden Figures and The Man Who Knew Infinity. And just recently Mr. Sharp shared with us the story of Hedy Lama, a female actor who during World War II helped improve the design of planes as she had a passion for engineering. She even invented the basis for all modern Wi-Fi by inventing something called signal hopping truly innovative. STEM skills help us in everyday life and they prepare us for the future, for jobs that may not even have been created yet. I'm now going to share with you a video clip which will help you see how you continue with your STEM learning despite being at home using activities that we will share with you on your science, DT and maths MOOC pages. All the best to you all. Hope you will explore, enjoy and learn. Bye. Walking around central London, you are constantly reminded of some of the greatest feats of engineering at the grander scale. So buildings like St Paul's over there or this bridge that I'm standing on. But if you want to get involved in engineering, if you want to really understand the, the principles of what makes good engineering, you don't even have to leave your home. A piece of paper is a wonderful thing. With a piece of paper you can do all sorts of things. You can write uh, a great novel or you could draw a picture or you can open up an entire world of exciting engineering because with a piece of paper of course you can become an aeronautical engineer just by making a paper aeroplane. Now there's all kinds of different ways of making paper aeroplanes depending on what you want to do. You can make planes that go a long way or stay in the air for a long time or do boomerangs and tricks and come back to you. When I was a kid they kind of always looked a little bit like this. That's how we used to do it and they, they fly, but they don't fly very well. So I'm going to show you a different way of making a plane. This is the world record distance method of making uh, a paper aeroplane. Right, you want to try and get the folds as accurately as you can. And I actually use um, a card, like a credit card, just to scrape down the folds, just to get them really, really accurate. There's all kinds of resources online about how to make brilliant paper planes. So the secret is, to just explore. Okay, that goes like that. Put my card and scrape that down. Pull that across. Now I want to make a fold up this way. Yeah, it's starting to 
come along. You really want to get each side perfectly symmetrical, really, really line up those um, angles and those ends as, as well as you can. That gets folded over like that. Right, there we go. The secret is to have the angle of the wings a bit like that. We call that a dihedral angle. So rather than having the wings down like that, as you might do for a sort of paper dart, you actually want them up like that. And that gives the whole aircraft a lot more stability. And then it's really that kind of balance of lift and speed. So what we can do is we can give it some little elevators at the back just by turning the ends up. Mm -hmm. 